when we were faced with this pandemic, we really realized rather quickly that millions of frontline workers were having to learn a procedure that they'd never done before and maybe were not terribly familiar with. The keys to a proper nasal pharyngeal swab have to do with the trajectory of the swab, so the direction in which you are um, inserting it, and the depth. And so we use a couple of key landmarks for that, and the mannequin really helps to solidify those key aspects. The IXL program has been on campus for about five and a half years now. The program started so we could develop a new way of learning for our students and our clinicians on this campus and throughout the city. The learners have the opportunity to, to train in a safe environment where they can make mistakes and they can train as many times as they need to enhance that skill set before ever laying hands on a patient. Swab needs to come perpendicular to the plane of the face, insert it until you meet resistance in the back, and then you twist the swab to collect cells. With the mannequin that we created, if you have inserted it to the proper depth, you will trigger a light that illuminates on the forehead. This model's great in that we can simulate real life. We can take a perfectly straight septum and replace it with a septal deviation, if you can see that uh, bump on it here. That provides the learner with a uh, challenge. When you swab with a, a crooked septum, it requires a little bit of trajectory changes to get sh make sure you're in the right spot. The collaboration with the Chamberlain Group UNMC in Nebraska Medicine is a perfect example of what the IXL program in the Davis Global Center was built for. I'm thrilled that uh, to, to work on this collaboration for the swab trainer, UNMC Nebraska Medicine, partnering in this way to provide a safe training environment for our frontline workers gives me a great deal of joy and pride. It's all about patient safety. It's all about what can we do to enhance the care that we're providing individuals.